The marbled merlet is a mysterious little seabird that calls the Pacific Northwest home. This enigmatic bird spends the majority of its life at sea, but journeys inland over 50 miles to nest in the large mossy branches of old trees. They meet their mate at sea, dive into the water in search of prey, and deliver fish to their single nestling. Once the young is big enough to fledge, it takes its first flight at dusk straight to sea. Unfortunately, over the last several decades, many large old forests of western Washington were aggressively logged. The continued loss of these old trees has caused marble murrelets to be listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Their population has decreased by a staggering 44% in Washington state since the year 2000. Unless we adjust the way we protect old coastal forests, the murrelet could disappear from our state forever. It's our responsibility to protect this species. The Endangered Species Act requires that we do all we can to help the murrelet rebound. 20 years ago, Washington State made a commitment to the federal government to develop a long-term conservation strategy for the marbled murrelet. But that commitment is unfulfilled. We have a rapidly declining species, but no strategy to conserve the habitat they need to survive. We have an obligation to step up to the plate and support strategies that benefit the marbled murrelet, but also continue to support our timber-dependent communities in western Washington. So, how are we going to accomplish this big task? Here's what you need to know. Number one, protecting forest habitat in Western Washington isn't just good for the murrelets, it's good for all of us. When we allow trees to grow older and larger, they do a better job at pulling excess carbon dioxide out of the air and purifying the water that runs through the forest. So you can breathe easier knowing that these trees are improving the health of our environment for you, murrelets, salmon, and many other creatures in the Pacific Northwest. Number two, timber industries and rural counties fear that protecting murrelet habitat will mean a decrease in timber and revenue. We understand their concern, but in reality, only a small percentage of additional murrelet nesting habitat is needed to help recover the species. Number three, fortunately, we can protect habitat and make sure we still have revenue from our working state forests to fund our schools, hospitals, libraries, and other important social services. A long-term conservation strategy that protects the marbled murrelet will make our forests work smarter, not harder. A strategy that is balanced, diversified, and sustainable will also help avoid the boom and bust logging cycles that have harmed small rural communities in the past. That's a win-win-win. Our state is mandated by law to protect endangered species habitat and support sustainable timber harvests. It's time to put a common sense science-based strategy into action. Join us as we call on decision makers to listen to the experts and community members standing together to support a long-term conservation strategy that contributes to the recovery of the marbled murrelet. Let's do this together.